Here's the pork belly that we seasoned up with the tender quick and pepper. And we're going to go put it on the smoker and let it smoke for four or five hours, which means it might be done around 10 o'clock tonight. Yay. All meat lovers. Okay, so here's the bacon. After it's had lots of time to set, and that tender quick has penetrated deep into the pork belly. There's both of them there. We're gonna have some thick cut bacon, and we're gonna make a nice carbonara. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get these out onto the smoker and let them smoke. Get some really good smoke into them. Uh, we're just running some competition pellets. We're gonna get the pit boss going. Uh, we're gonna just set it at 225 degrees and let it run. These are the pellets that we're using. We'll probably have to fill it up again in the middle of this smoke. Those are the competition pellets. Okay, we're gonna get our temperature up to 240. Now it's set. We're gonna go ahead and get these pork bellies on here. We're gonna crack this door open, let that light. Should always do that because it can blow, they can blow up. You can have a whole bunch of smoke build up on the inside. This one's not really that bad as that blower blows it out pretty good. But if it ignites the smoke, you can have a little bit of an explosion. You can burn off some eyebrow here. Take this pork belly out. And I'm gonna do fat cap up on this one. Just keep it off the sides. Let them smoke for the next five hours or so. We're gonna get them clear up to 165 internal. Then we'll put them back in the fridge and then we'll slice them. I have no idea how long the pork bellies have been on. I didn't take an internal temp because I'm not going to. This is bacon. We're gonna slice it. We're gonna cook it. Here's the second one. We're gonna go inside and we got a perfect 160. So here's the bacon after we got it inside. You can see it in the light. It's got some really good color on it. Got some good smoke on it. I'm gonna set it on the counter, let it chill down, and then we'll put it in the fridge overnight. Tomorrow, we'll put it in the freezer for half hour to an hour, and then we'll slice it. All right, so we just pulled the pork belly out of the fridge. Uh, got the slicer all ready to go. Looks like perfect bacon. Nice meaty slabs, not like what we're getting from the grocery store. I'm gonna choose our thickness for our bacon. So, this is what it turned out. Nice thin, well, that's thick cut bacon, but thin for us. But it looks perfect. Look at that. That's some beautiful looking bacon. One of the dogs will find that chunk of that. Everybody's gonna complain because I'm cutting the bacon the wrong way. Because there's only this much room. This doesn't go any further.